Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching my Champions League quarter final day one review. Okay, it looks like uh, English clubs are going to make it to the next round. I'm telling you, this final could be all English one more time because English clubs are doing pretty good. And uh, hopefully, hopefully Chelsea can do good against Real Madrid on Wednesday. And let's see what's going to happen. Man, what, uh, what a game for Man City against uh, Atleti and also Benfica against Liverpool. Man City, to be honest with you, they struggled at time to score. But when you have somebody called De Bruyne, <laughs> he always is going to find a way to score, right? Just like a KO from nowhere, boom, you are <laughs> down. So De Bruyne found a way, but he could have even scored more after that. It didn't happen, but that's uh, what you need sometimes. One nil at the end, you get all three points and you move, but... Listen, this is not going to be an easy game in the second half. And for the other game, between Benfica and Liverpool, to be honest with you, Benfica were really very good at some point. I was thinking it was going to be a draw, although they were going to win. But quality is always quality. At the end, quality is going to make the difference. And there again... Man, the end was happier than the beginning. So we're going to jump and start checking on some statistics, you know, from um, what happened really uh, from each game. And then we go from there, right? Okay, let's go. All right, my friends. All right, all right. So we are here to talk about... The details, what happened? Let's start by this Manchester City against Atleti game. What a game of football, man. What a game of football. And uh, I think Atleti must be disappointed for not uh, hanging there and get away with, uh, with a draw or something. De Bruyne, 70 minutes. He found a way to score. The defensive organization for Atleti was immense as per usual you know wow but and look at that the Bruna man of the match not even the doubt because when you score in a game like this against Atleti man you you deserve the man of the match right you deserve it you really deserve it so let's go very quickly to statistics here right <clears throat> okay so look at that Total attempt, and this is very telling. Total attempt, 15 attempt for Man City, zero for <laughs> Atleti. That tells you everything you want to know. One team attacking, another team trying to get the result, nil-nil. Uh, Look at that. Attacks, 86 for Man City, only 15 for um, Atleti. Wow. Passing accuracy, 90% for City, 76 for Atleti. What people want to know more here is like the ball position, the ball recovery also statistics are good. Well, Man City pretty much dominated in every aspect of this game, to be honest with you. And uh, wow. Possession, 67 for City, 33 for Simeone. But that, that's what you can expect from Simeone's team because they're going to give you the ball and they're going to counter. They're going to hit you in the counter and that's what they do. So, people, let me know uh, what's going to happen in the second leg. Do you think Man City are going to get the job done or you think Atleti still have a chance to to qualify for the next round but this is an important victory for manchester city congratulations to them and also to the Bruna in particular because a so-called chelsea reject 
I'm just wondering if back then it was social media like we see today, right? How much hate and how much attacks he was going to get from Chelsea uh, online fans. Because at Chelsea Football Club, we don't support anybody that is struggling for a few weeks or one season or whatever. You are crap. You have to go. The Bruna is showing people that you have to be patient. Even Salah showing people that you have to be patient. Not every single time that you need, you have to get what you need immediately. So, lesson learned, maybe. But it is what it is. Let's move on to the second game very quickly here. Benfica against Liverpool. 1-3. Nunes. This is the guy that Arsenal are trying to sign, right? Nunes guy. I think he's a very good striker and many teams are interested in that. He's from Uruguay or something like that. Correct me in the description down below, but we're not going to talk about him right now. So he scored a goal. Money, 34th minute he scored. Konate scored in the seventh, uh, 17th minute. And Luis Diaz to close the shop, 87th minute, you know, just for the road. One more time. Boom, 3-1. And it looks, it looks like um, an easy result, but it wasn't. The game was so tough for Liverpool. But at the end, what count is... You know, the quality. You score a goal, you get all three points, and you move. So I don't see Benfica coming back from this one. You lost at home, even though the away goals don't count anymore. I don't see them coming at Anfield and beating Liverpool. It's going to be almost impossible, in my opinion. But we've seen crazy stuff happen in football. So you have to keep an open mind because... Uh, it could be different. All right. Possession. Ball possession. 65% for, for Liverpool, 35 for Benfica. So, as you can tell, Liverpool pretty much dominated in almost every aspect here. Pass accuracy, everything. They dominated pretty much everything. Said that Mo Salah didn't score. And I, I am suspecting that they are trying to... To, to to build a team without Salah. Have you seen that? You know, he's subbed, he's, he's on the bench and come on and Diaz is dead. Like the little things that they are doing now just makes me feel like they can't afford his salary and they're trying to incorporate other, other players already before he leaves. That is just my impression because I don't see them Paying Mo Salah like 400k a week, and that is the money that the brother deserves. So, fingers crossed. Let's wait and see what uh, what is gonna happen and where Mo Salah is gonna end next season. People, that's it. Let me know in the comment. Did you enjoy the Champions League night? Okay, and uh, and uh, how how do you see the second legs between? Um, between all those teams tomorrow we're gonna talk about uh, other other games in the champions league stay tuned don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video share god bless you and i'll see you next time